is for students who are going to be doing the Instagram post and I want you to ask yourself a question. Am I starting in Photoshop or am I starting in Illustrator? If you are starting in Photoshop, that means that you are using images and you are potentially going to add text in Illustrator at the end. If you're not using images and you're doing vector art and you're doing your type solely in Illustrator, then you would start on this path. So whether you're starting in Photoshop or Illustrator depends on which template you open. So if I'm using Photoshop, I'm going to be downloading this file here. If I'm starting and ending in Illustrator, I'm going to be using this template. So you need to decide which template it is. I'm going to start in Photoshop, so I'm going to download this. And I'm going to go ahead and think about how I want to build this. Okay, this is a smaller window than the Instagram story because there's a bigger frame that's going to be surrounding this on um, the temp or the mock-up. But you do have to consider filling in this entire space. So maybe I want to go ahead and add a background. And then I want to build this out with other images. So I'm going to take this image the way that's selecting. So let's grab the subject. I'm using my selection tools. Depends on what you're using them for. And fortunately that watermelon is in the way so I'm going to grab that watermelon. And I'm going to have to do some editing with that later. Okay, I don't really particularly like this image, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't like the way it's selecting. So I'm going to use my selection tool here. either. Let's delete that. Contract one inch. See if I can get a cleaner edge with some selection techniques. Mm, not liking that very much at all. Let's go ahead and see if I can contract it. Well, to save time for you, I'm going to pretend that this is a better selection. And it could be that it's a little too uh, big, um, or it needs to be made smaller. And then I could add in some extra elements, maybe add in some shoes. And I'm just going to kind of build this design. Here are my flip flops. And then maybe I like this, but I'm going to go ahead and flip this image so that the chair is on the other side. And maybe move these up. Okay. And maybe I just want to change the color. I don't like the color. I'm going to go ahead and change the color balance. No, not that one. I'm using different tools to get what I want. I can try hue and saturation too, that might help. Look
let's try that instead. There we go. Now I'm getting what I want. There. So you can manipulate these and go ahead and make it whatever design you want. This is for students using Photoshop who are working with images. I wouldn't leave this this way. I would want to rearrange things a little bit different. Maybe add somebody in the background. Maybe add a few more pieces that illustrate this as summer and the advertisement for glasses because that's what I'm going for. I'm looking for a way to advertise sunglasses. And then once I finish this design, I'm going to save it as a Photoshop file with my name attached to it so I can keep my original file. And I've got these all saved in a folder, so I'm going to keep them in the same place. Then I'm going to export this as a ping. Now, most likely you are going to add some type of text with this. So this is the point when you ask yourself, am I going to add text? If you are going to add text, you're going to go back to Canvas and you're going to download the Instagram post file, which I made the right size for you. And you're going to do file place and you're going to be placing this image that we just made on this artboard. So file place, I didn't need to do that. Let's go back to Illustrator, file place. And we're gonna go into our desktop. This is where I saved mine, but you have yours wherever you saved it. Grab the PNG, lay it out on the red line, and then stretch it. That's pretty, pretty good close um, size. Okay, in layers, you would lock your layer and then you would build your text out. Keeping in mind, you are staying inside of this frame. That is very important that you stay inside. So maybe you grab your text tool and you start to draw, okay? You have access to all of those fonts that you have hopefully saved. If you go into here and you click on the cloud with the check mark, you might have one of those um, one of those fonts that you have saved in your computer. They will be here, so you can use them. And if you forgot what they are, you can go back to Photoshop, go open up that social or that media board, and then look at um, what characteristic or uh, character style typeface style that is. So this is eight heavy. So I'm going to go into my and it's right there, and I'm ready to go. And you can enlarge it and make it bigger. All right, you can also color it. Once you're done, you're gonna save it as an Illustrator file with your name attached to it. So you're gonna do your name and then save it as an illustrator file and then you're going to export it as a ping because that is going to be the one that you're going to use inside of the mock-up later all right and that is the instagram post and you are ready with your part of the project